Recently, at a Facebook party, I was asked whether Asborn did anything on diversity. Well, the first thing that left to mind were the traditional books like Peoples of the World and so on, which show a diverse range of cultures and races and, and so on, different parts of the world, exotic costumes, exotic beliefs. But that's not what she was getting at. Um, she was asking on behalf of a friend who was attending the party who was Muslim and whose husband is from Africa. And she was saying how difficult it is to find any books that show black dads. That's what we're talking about, is books that show a diversity of different skin tones and hair types and, and so on, um, rather than showing them as parts of exotic places far away. These days we're living in more and more diverse communities and people with from different ethnic backgrounds are part of our communities, are their friends and our neighbours. So what about books that show the world the way it really is today? And in fact, their credit, Asborn's been doing that for many, many years. If you start off with something like The Complete Book of First Experiences, this is one of Asborn's older books. It's been around for at least 25 years. And it does exactly what I was just describing. It shows people with different skin tones as part of our natural everyday lives. There you go, first day of school. There's a, a bunch of very diverse kids and there's a black dad with a baby, which is a whole different type of diversity, isn't it? So um, that was obviously something that delighted the customer and she bought this one right away for sure. But Asborn's really good at that. They've been doing it for years. You just flick over the pages and of course there are people of all sorts of skin tones. You'd be surprised once you start looking at your Asborn collection how many of our books that is true of. Um, so here we go. What is Pooh? There we are. Look inside your body right away. And even on books for little babies, my first word book, everybody isn't white and blonde. There are lots of different types of people. And it does reflect our society as it is today. In books for older kids, yep, there you go. Oh, and in this one, uh, people who are differently abled as well all part of our community. Even in the most unlikely ones like uh, the sticker dolly dressings, look inside them, you will find that not everybody looks the same. Now, of course, it's absolutely legitimate to want to find out more about people who have come from different cultures. And for that matter, if you're living in a country that was not originally your own, you might want to have books that are about the country that you came from or that tell the stories that were read to you as a child, because they're going to be probably different to Little Red Riding Hood or whatever. And so we've got lots of books for learning about other cultures or just reflecting other cultures. Our, our um, Patterns to Colour series has Mexican, Celtic, Chinese, African, a really wide range. Um, in terms of stories, I love illustrated myths from around the world. Um, it's got uh, Demeter and Persephone is from ancient Greece. The Greedy Frog is from Australia. It's an Aboriginal story. Fire of the Jaguar, I think, is Brazil, yes. And then we've got Anansi, which is Africa and the Caribbean. We've got Finn McCool, Ireland. Lovely, lovely diverse range. And we've got the Monkey King in the Young Reading series. There are lots of these folk tales and myths from around the world. This one's from China, but we've got ones from Norse myths and legends. We've got ones from India. And of course, it's totally legit to want to learn more about the people in our community and what their beliefs are. So we've got things like the story of Islam, which is the history of Islam. We've got Hanukkah. We've got Diwali. Um, lots to learn about the world about us. And ending again on a more traditional one, world religions which gives us a lot of background
about the different religions of the world, including Christianity. Um, so if you want to learn a bit more about what people really believe and uh, how it affects them, then this is a great book for understanding people better. So I think you can uh, say with pride that Asborn represents diversity in the majority of its books. I'll bet if you really dig around you can find one that's only got white people in it. But in so, so many of them, they represent the diversity of the world that we live in today.